Samplitude Pro X5 has enhanced automation in the form of automation shapes. They can be used on the track level or the object level. I'm going to begin by showing you how to use them on the track level. So I'm going to left click where it says Vol to turn on volume automation. I'm drawing a range between bars 3 and 6. I'm grabbing the automation curve and dragging it down. This allows me to adjust automation based on that range. I'm holding down Alt plus Shift. This temporarily disables snapping and also constrains vertical movement. Then when I grab the automation node, I can adjust it left or right without affecting the volume. So that would do. So I'm going to select this node at bar three and right click. And the automation shape preset window opens. It has a fader to adjust them with, and I can click through the different curve shapes and make fine adjustments using the fader, like that. If I click on the right arrow, it will activate the next node and the next. Note, if I choose an automation shape, it will always affect the curve to the right of the currently selected node. Press enter or click anywhere outside for the track automation box to disappear. I'm going to give you a second example of using automation shapes, this time automating the EFX reverb, which comes with Samplitude. I'm going to automate the mix control here. So I'm clicking where it says effect. Under EFX reverb, I'm choosing mix. I'm clicking on the curve to make it active. And I'm going to put in a node by double clicking and drag that upwards and I'm putting a node at the end drag that downwards then go to the first node and right click and choose a shape then I'm clicking on the arrow to the right to move to the next node reminding you again that the curve shape will always be applied to the right of the selected node that would do. And let's play it. You can also use automation shapes on the object level. I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to split this object at bar three and at bar five. So it's a separate object now. I've actually changed the selection color to black for this part of the tutorial. Sometimes I prefer to have the black background when using automation. You can change that any time by pressing Y and going to colors. Selected object top. That's where you can change the background color for selected objects. Anyway, I'm going to double click on the object to open the object editor. So I'm going to start by creating an automation shape for pan. So we have a blue automation curve created. I'm double clicking to create a node to the right edge and dragging it down. I'm right clicking on the left node to open the curve shape editor. I'll choose a preset. We now have a left to right pan based on that curve shape. So that's fairly straightforward. One of the great things about the object editor is you can add plugins on the object level. So I'm going to add the Magix EFX phaser. I want to automate the depth parameter. So I'm clicking on the drop down list and I'm choosing EFX phaser depth. So this parameter is represented by an orange automation curve. This time I'm going to use the white pencil tool. This enables automation draw mode for objects. I'm going to add a node at the bottom left. Add one at the top center. And one at the bottom right. You have to be a bit cautious with this pencil because that's all it does. So it's easy to insert nodes without meaning to. So I suggest once you've finished using it, just turn it off. Then you can revert back to the previous mouse mode. 
I'm right clicking here on the node and I'm choosing a preset shape. So I'm clicking on the right arrow to move the shape editor to the next node. So now we should be automating the depth. Let's have a listen. If you want to erase the automation, just click on the drop down list, then go to Edit Selected Curve, Delete All Curves, and all the automation for that object will be removed. If you untick Show, Object Automation will be turned off, and Track Automation will be the default, and that will encompass the entire track. So I'm bringing this tutorial to an end, and thanks for watching, and all the best.